We begin with the CDC and those new recommendations to help prevent overprescribing and misuse of prescription painkillers. The CDC says it's becoming an epidemic. People are getting pain pills from doctors after an injury or surgery, and millions are getting hooked. On average, about 46 people are dying every day from overdoses. The new guidelines encourage doctors to try over-the-counter medications first for their patients. If opioids are the best course of treatment, the CDC recommends using the lowest possible dose and making sure patients know the risks. Right now, our Sarah Beth Ackerman joins us live from Krauss with more on whether the new guidelines can make a difference. Sarah Beth. The people here at the Krauss Treatment Center say the new guidelines are a step in the right direction. They say that they hear several stories from people who never thought they would be addicted to prescription drugs. Sean Moonin knows exactly what it's like to be addicted to opioids because he's living proof. I liked how it felt and I, you know, started taking them recklessly, stupidly. Yeah. And I developed a full-fledged opiate addiction. Sean says it all started after his doctor removed his wisdom teeth. He was given the prescription and a refill for the pain. Following the doctor's orders, he took the pills. Before he knew it, he was hooked. Two weeks later, after taking it and refilling it, I had a physical withdrawal symptoms, which I were new to me. Um, I didn't know what it was. I thought I was maybe sick. Looking back on his addictive past, Sean says he really didn't think he needed the pills for his pain. They wrote me a second script. I didn't need to do that. I didn't even probably need the first one. I probably could have been fine with Tylenol. The CDC recently pushed out the new guidelines for prescribing these addictive pills to hopefully reduce the chances of this happening to someone else. In the new recommendations, the CDC urges doctors to not offer opioids unless it's absolutely necessary. But if you must offer it, prescribe the lowest effective dosage. There will be people that do need prescription opiates. But maybe we also need to take a look at for how long are we giving somebody a supply of said. Just ask someone like Sean Moonen. He'll probably tell you he could have done without the pills. If ever there was an opportunity to use alternative means of, of treating pain, I think that would be very useful. I think it, you, know, you almost want to say it's a last resort type of thing. Sean says that he's been clean of opioids for years and plans on never going back. For now, reporting live in Syracuse, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. He tells an important story, and with these new recommendations, things could start to change.